Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. We are back with another What's Sold. Um, this is actually going to be, I think, four days worth of sales. You'll see what the total is, I guess, in the title because I haven't looked it up yet. But I think this is Thursday through Sunday. Uh, pretty good stuff here. Always at least a few kind of higher dollar things and then a lot of that bread and butter stuff. So hopefully you'll be able to find something interesting. If you have any questions, let me know. But let's try to get into it so we don't waste too much time. Uh, first off is El Chicano, the best of old gold series CD. This one sold for 17 shipped. I bought a bunch of CDs, uh, a lot of them ended up being not so great, uh, they had a lot of water damage like on the cases and the manuals and stuff, but in that group was about maybe 20 or so that were salvageable that were in pretty good shape. This one was one of them and it sold for 17 shipped. I think we spent like 40 bucks on a big tub of DVDs and the CDs. Most of the DVDs were good, but the CDs I didn't realize the ones at the bottom had got kind of trashed. Um, here's another CD, Uninvited, Like the Clouds by Church. This one sold for 25 bucks. This one was from the Rock and Roll Buy. Um, with CDs, guys, I am not an expert. What I'm looking for is something unique, something weird. Um, you can always just scan them. Sorry, a little light, a little glare there from this light. Um, you can scan them, barcode scan them on the eBay app or what have you and try to see ones. Most of your common CDs, you know, like Taylor Swift, stuff like that. Um, those ones probably aren't going to have a ton of value. So I'm looking for just unique stuff I haven't heard of. This one went for 25 Another CD, three in a row. Uh, this one I've actually sold twice now, Bone Thugs and Harmony E99. This one sold for 13 ships, so pretty good deal. Again, with CDs, I'm usually listing them. If they sell somewhat regularly and they'll sell for more than eight bucks, then usually I'll list them. Uh, video game, MX Superfly for, P uh, for the GameCube, not for the PS2. That one sold for eight shipped. GameCube games seem to do a little bit better, even ones that are not the greatest game, they'll still sell, so I got eight bucks on that. Uh, Mega Man X6, this is a disc only. Um, this one was actually came in like another Mega Man case. I thought I was buying it, but it was the wrong game inside. I ended up still selling the disc for ten thirty nine, uh, free shipping. It cost three bucks or whatever to ship it. An AT and T ten eighty business phone. Some of the AT and T phones do well. Some of them aren't worth a whole lot. They usually have a model number on them. You can kind of see it towards the top. Uh, if you find them, maybe look them up. This one actually looked like it comped out really well. It was part of a big buy we got from Storage in the guy, and it sold for 45 ship, and it only took like maybe four or five days to sell, so pretty good. I think it ended up costing us about 10 bucks to ship it out. Um, it was either Pirate Ship or FedEx Home Delivery, something like that. I know nothing about jewelry, so this next sale is um, a surprise to me too. This is a signed Sarah Coventry triple circle brooch pin and earring. Um, not really sure all about that. I copied someone else's listing. Um, jewelry is the one category. If I had to say I wish I knew more, it would be jewelry. I need to take the time. There's so many uh, people on YouTube that make videos, jewelry, jars, and all kinds of stuff and how to go through stuff. And some of them make great money. Um, or if you're looking out for the gold, for the silver stuff, it can be worth it too. But I don't know a whole lot. I had got a bunch of this stuff. They were 50 cents each in little bags. I bought them just as kind of a way to learn. Um, this little set sold for 14 shipped on a best offer. Uh, here's a really cool item. This is a Panasonic um, blood pressure monitor. It actually worked fine. It had some stains on the little cuff that you'd put on, but um, the there was no battery cover. But other, aside from that, it worked perfectly fine. I put it on, we tested it out, it worked. Um, this is the EW3109. This thing still sold under the condition for parts are not working. And I only put it in that spot because it didn't have the battery cover and the batteries would come out pretty easily if it wasn't on. So I put it in that category thinking, okay, well, I want to protect myself that way someone doesn't think they're getting the perfect one. And it's still sold for 75 shipped. You can get over like 120, I think, for these if you have one that works in the box and it's in good shape. So something to keep an eye out for, um, these little Panasonic blood pressure monitors. And not all blood pressure monitors are worth it either, so just to be clear. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, this one sold for 764 um, just kind of a generic game. I'm, I'm happy to get seven bucks out of that. It was listed at nine and it sold on sale. True Blood DVD box sets, uh, seasons one through six. I don't even remember where I got these. Probably from storage unit guy one time when I'm, I always throw the DVD sets in, a, in the bucket I buy from them. These ones ended up selling on sale for $39.94. Happy to get rid of them. Best part is they go media mail, so shipping was probably six or seven bucks. Um, here's a cool one too. Lake Elsinore Storm is a minor league baseball team. Uh, affiliated with, I believe, the Padres, if I'm not mistaken, locally. Um, we've been to a couple of their games. Um, it's just kind of fun to go with the kids and everything like that. 
Um, this is an older, like 90s style Elsinore Storm um, crew neck. I got it for a buck at an estate sale and ended up selling for 36 shift. In my experience, sometimes minor league stuff, especially hockey or whatever, the lower level league, sometimes people will buy that stuff even though, you know, it's not as, as big, as popular as the main brand. Sometimes it's hard to come by. So it might be worth looking out if you find something. That was pretty cool. Got 36 shift on it. Skyrim, this is a basically a game guide. It's a pretty fun game if you've ever played it. Uh, pretty in-depth guide too. This one sold for 29 shipped. It's from the My Pet Monster. There were a bunch of probably 10 or 20 strategy guides, and this was the best one. It sold for 29 shipped. Uh, the Suffering, another good PS2 game to look out for. Sold for 25 shipped, which in my opinion is a great deal for a used game. Um, usually like horror or kind of like... Uh, Stuff like that, which I can kind of see this game falling in. Uh, those type of games uh, seem to, thrillers, seem to sell a little better on PlayStation 2. So if you can find them like Silent Hill, things like that, they seem to have a pretty good pretty good sell-through rate and usually a pretty good price that they sell for. Um, here is, let's see, this is a cassette from the Hip Hop Eye. It's called Death of a Klansman. So we won't get, I don't know much about it. It says it's from South Central Cali, um, is basically the location of the rappers. When I bought all those cassettes, there were so many different ones in there. A lot of them have sold really well. It took a best offer of 35 shipped on this one. Uh, Sonic for PS2. This one sold for $7.79. Again, it sold on sale. Just happy to get rid of that. Make a few bucks. Um, here's a really bad listing. This is an old listing, guys. This is a PS3 Guitar Hero um, dongle for the drum. Uh, probably would have sold this months and months and months and months and months ago had I took a better picture. One, you can barely kind of see it. You can't really tell exactly what it is. You got the shadowing there. It's not bright enough. It ended up selling though for 20 ship, which is pretty good for one of the dongles. Some of them go as high as like 45, 50, depending on which one you have. Uh, this one wasn't as valuable, but they have model numbers on them, so look them up. Usually the minimum they go for is like 10 on a dongle. So if you see these little dongles for Guitar Heroes, Rock Band, stuff like that, it might be worth picking up. Uh, game, a 64 game, Extreme G2, sold for $8.49 on sale. Here's a little Soft Things Train. I don't really know what it is. It just came in a big thing of plush. It looked kind of cool. It was colorful. I thought maybe somebody had this as a kid. I listed it for 30 bucks, and someone bought it on sale for 27 So that one kind of surprised me and my wife when it sold uh, because we are like, wow, I'm surprised someone actually bought it. Um, I, I don't know. I didn't really have a year in there or anything. Someone just happened to find it, I guess. Maybe they're looking for that exact thing, exact thing, or maybe they just were looking for a train-type plush. Who knows? But 27 ship for... It was only like this big, so a pretty small plush. Here's some Nike Air Max Tailwind 8s. I think I sold the black pair in the last video. Um, we spent 20 bucks on uh, five pairs of shoes. These were in there. These ones had a couple little marks on the blue, but overall still a pretty good-looking shoe. Sold for 40 shipped on the best offer. A Black & Decker, uh, this is like a little pusher for the food processor. Sold for $7.79 on sale. I still love selling kitchen parts. I'll buy the food processors, the juicers, whatever it is, I can get them for cheap enough and I'll part them out. Eventually they seem to sell $7.79 on that guy. Goes out first class shipping. Uh, Malo Senorita from 95. This CD sold for $23.79. This is from the first big CD buy I've ever really made. I spent $70. Bucks. This was probably a, almost... A, nine no, probably more than nine maybe almost a year ago i guess now um, and this kind of got me started on the cds and now i'm like hooked on the media the cds dvds stuff like that the cassettes so easy to list so easy to sell ship all that kind of stuff this was the first big buy I spent 70 bucks we've already sold probably 500 or 600 worth of cds and this one sold for 23.79 plus my wife sent i think 60 or 70 bucks into declutter as well uh, Dr. Mario for the Nintendo. This one sold for eight bucks. Again, sold on sale with the sale that we're running. Rain Volume Five. This is like a little CD album. This one sold for fifteen fifty nine on sale. I think I paid four bucks at a thrift store. This one was not a great buy. Finally sold after a long time. You can tell by the picture it's been up for way too long, and the picture is not that good either. Uh, Easy E Easy Does It cassette from the Hip Hop cassette buy. This one sold for eighteen shipped. Again. Um, I just looked these ones up, scanned them usually, or typed them in, and found ones that were selling for at least eight bucks and listed them. A Cutco knife block. This is a ten slot. This one sold for twenty-seven. Ship the good Cutco ones you really want are the bigger ones, like the fourteen and up slots. Those seem to sell a lot better. This one did sell for twenty-seven. Shipped. I think we paid three bucks for it at a thrift store. Um, it ended up costing us about ten bucks to ship at Pirate Ship, I believe. 
So we made a few bucks on it, not really great. Um, I'm a sucker for Cutco though. If I see it, I end up picking it up usually. So happy to get it out of here. Uh, SpongeBob for PS1 sold for 809 on sale. Deadwood, the complete first season sold. It's sealed, sold for 1359. This was two bucks at a garage sale. It's been up for a while too, but it finally sold on sale for 1359. Uh, Crash Bandicoot. This is a Crash and Crash 2 for PS1. It's no, there's no games though, and they still sold for 2124. Um, they actually went global shipping as well. The buyer wanted them for uh, their collection. They have the disc. They said they wanted the cases. I'm sure you could probably, for a little bit more money, get the actual complete games for that price. I was surprised they sold, so happy about that. A uh, Starbucks Traveler. This is one of the swell ones. We spent five bucks on a bunch of five bucks each on a bunch of Starbucks brand new tumblers and all kinds of stuff. This one sold for twenty five forty nine on sale. I think we have four listings left of Starbucks stuff. And we started off with like 30 or something like that, 29 or 30. Pretty good that we've gotten through all those. Uh, two Carhartt shirts. These were a buck a piece at a garage sale. One was brand new with tags. One appeared to be new without tags. He said he never wore it. He put it on, just didn't like the feel. That's why they never took the tags off of the other one. I paid a dollar each and I listed them for 30 bucks. And they sold probably in about a week. Um, and I got good feedback on them as well. So awesome deal there. Some Reebok um, ATR pumps. These were, I think, 10 bucks or something like that at a garage sale. They were pretty cool looking shoes. They ended up selling for 50 shipped on a full price sale. It's a bit of an older listing. It took a little while. I had them high, um, high up and they had some where they really needed to be restored. But they were just a cool looking shoe and someone paid 50 bucks. There were no insoles. I remember that. Uh, but I was happy to get 50 bucks for them. Um, Our Universe, this is also from the My Pet Monster Buy. This is a little book here. It sold for 18 chip and it sold overnight. So uh, I saw they were selling for about 15 to 18 bucks. I listed mine and mine sold like probably within five hours. So happy about that. Here's a little Sanrio um, digital MP3 player. I think it was supposed to be a Hello Kitty one from the comps that I found. They all had like Hello Kitty stuff associated with it. Mine was just a white MP3 player. It did work. Um, so everything was fine there. It came in a big lot of electronics and it sold for 12 shipped. So someone, I guess, wanted to, they were just going to hook it up while they were um, working at home, I guess they said. They, were, they asked me a bunch of questions about it, but they were going to hook it up while at home so they could listen to music. So for 12 bucks, I guess they got what they wanted. Um, here's a fire stick. These um, Amazon fire sticks, I've done really well with these. This one sold for 18. This is my second or third one to sell. Um, usually I part them out. I sell the stick by itself and the remote by itself. And if there's anything else, I'll part it out that way. Seem to be able to make a few more bucks that way, but 18 bucks on the fire stick. We have a Titleist Vokey. This is a 54 degree wedge here. This one sold for 24 shipped on sale. This was two bucks, I think, at a garage sale. The guy had a bunch of really nice clubs, at least nice brands. A bit older, but you know, nicer brands. This one was two bucks and ended up selling for 24. We shipped it out for about nine bucks. So, you know, we made a little bit of money there. Not too great, but I'm kind of a sucker for golf clubs as well. I used to work at a golf course. So um, golf clubs are something I usually tend to buy, even if the deal's not that great, if it's a good enough brand. Um, these actually sold, but they were returned. Um, these are Mickey Mouse scrubs. Um, they're size 2XL. They're long sleeve scrubs, which is not as common. The lady got them. She said they were beautiful, but she said they smelled like they had been stored for a while, which they had been bagged with all of our other clothes. So I'm like, I don't, we, they were washed before we put them in there. I don't remember any smells or anything like that. So um, she said, well, I'll wash them and see if they, it gets out or whatever. Otherwise I'll open a return. And I was like, okay, whatever. Within like a minute, she opened the return. So I'm guessing she never washed them because I don't think she could do it that quickly. I got them back. My wife and I smelled them. We didn't smell anything. Now, um, I rewashed them again just to make sure, and I've listed them again now, but they sold for $28.04. Um, it was a return. We paid to put them in a pad of flat rate, so we lost that money plus the money back on the shipping. So not really an ideal situation, but um, it happens. Part of the game. Uh, Cuisinart Mini Prep Bowl. This one sold for $11.69. Uh, it has a part number on the bottom there, easy to look up. Got $11.69. It's a little small bowl. It ended up uh, going first class for about 4 bucks. Not the greatest deal, but... It had been up for a long time. It was on the 22% off sale, so definitely been up for a while. Here was something from the Rock and Roll by a Neil Diamond souvenir book. It's like from some exhibit they had for him, I guess. It's from the 80s, I think. Um, and there was no real comp sign, no way to know. I just thought, well, maybe some Neil Diamond fan will want it. I think I listed it for 40 or best offer. Someone came through and said they thought it was really cool, and for 25 bucks, they're willing to take it. 
it's really not much to it. It has a couple of pictures in there and then some text and some information. So I figure for 25 bucks, let's get it out of here and it's sold. Uh, the Champions DVD set. This one I've sold probably two or three times, at least two. Um, it always sells for right around 30 to 40 bucks. This one sold for 36 shipped. Um, the last one I think I sold for about 38 shipped or something like that. So if you can find them, um, this one sells really well, even you. So 36 bucks on a used DVD set. I got it from Savers. I want to say it was $4.99 plus tax. Um, I also have sold a lot of these Barney VHS. Um, they don't sell for a ton always, but usually at least 10 bucks for most of them. This is the musical scrapbook. I got uh, 10 bucks on that one. I've sold them as high as like 32 bucks or something. Certain ones are worth a little bit more money. So if you can find them and they're a quarter or 50 cents, you might want to pick them up. And if you have a couple, you can also lot them together. So another option. A high noon Western shirt. Nothing really crazy about this. I think I paid three bucks. I just thought it looked cool. It's obviously pretty patriotic there by the design. Ended up selling for 23 bucks on a best offer. Went out first class. Dead Space 3 sold for $8.49 on the 360. Again, nothing too crazy, but happy to get rid of that. Uh, Bob Marley, this is from the Rock and Roll Buy, sold for $10, just the cassette. This one also sold super quickly within a day. Got $10 on that guy. Gauntlet for PS2, a game you think would be worth a little bit more money, but ended up finally selling for $9.35. Um, Scotland on some of the other systems does pretty well, but that one sold for $9. A Zelda Strategy Guide, uh, this one sold for $8.49. Again, sold on sale, just happy to move out some of this older stuff. Uh, this is a children's Bible trivia game. This was something that my mother-in-law was getting rid of some stuff and it was in there. This one sold for $24.99. Ended up costing us about eight bucks to ship it. It's not a huge board game, it's kind of a smaller one. It cost about eight bucks to ship it, so we made some money there. That money went back to her, but $24.99 on that guy. And it sold really quick, probably within about four days. Uh, Doom for 360. This one sold um, for a full price, 13 bucks, and it was returned. The buyer said they no longer wanted the game after about two days, so I don't know what the deal was with that. It came back and everything was fine, so again, that's when we had to return, just part of the business. Here is a Care Bear. This is a Sunshine Bear. This one sold for $15.99. Again, we paid 50 cents for a bunch of these old Care Bears. Uh, we had them, most of them listed for about 20 to 25 each. This one sold on sale finally for 16 shipped. And now I think we're down to one left, which will be awesome to get through those. Here's a Tommy little Pokemon Ball Blasters. It's like a little toy. It shoots a little ball out of the Game Boy. And I guess you play some kind of a game. I'm not really sure exactly. Um, uh, this came from an old, old buy from Storage Unit Guy. It came, we bought a bunch of video games and action figures and toys and all kinds of stuff. This is whip, one of my early buys from him. And this one finally sold for 12 shipped on sale. It was a cool had a little Pokemon, a little pet or Pog looking things there. So I figured someone would eventually come through and get it. Now here's a Frank Zappa DVD. This one sold for 33 shipped. This is one of the better DVDs from the Rock and Roll Buy. Um, this one, it had a seal around it as well. Um, I wasn't sure if it was the original because the seal wasn't really perfect. So I put it as like new. I didn't put it as brand new. But still got 33 shipped on that DVD. And I got good feedback, so no worries there. Who cares? Uh, this is a CD that's from the Rock and Roll Buy as well. Again, just scanned it, looked it up. It seemed like it sold well, and it sold for 12 shipped. Brent Wood, 18 more of the best. Um, this is from, not from the Rock and Roll Buy. This is from the, that buy with all the CDs where they were kind of water damaged. This one ended up selling for 34 shipped on sale. So it had been up for a little while, but still got 34 bucks on a used CD, which is awesome. And here's a Marvel Fantastic Four, the Thing figure. This was... Um, it was so grimy when I got, I threw it in my bucket when I was making a pile of storage unit guy and it was, I didn't realize it was kind of sticky. So I had to really clean him off. Finally got him clean and he worked perfectly and he sold for 23 shipped. He ended up costing us about eight bucks to ship. So not a great deal, but again, pretty cool looking figure. Couldn't pass him up and the buyer did give me good feedback. So that was a good deal there. And then we have a Kenyo two-way video cassette rewinder. One of my sources came into a storage unit where he got a bunch of like brand new in-box items, a lot from the 90s, early 2000s, um, stuff like that. There were a bunch of like massagers and this kind of stuff. There was a bunch of like nativity sets and just coffee makers, all kinds of random stuff. I ended up paying almost five bucks a piece for each unit that I bought. This was the first one that sold and it sold for 47 shipped. I had an offer of 40 bucks twice on this. I even have offers set up, but people messaged me wanting to pay 40. I said, no, I'll wait. And then sure enough, within a few days, someone bought it for 47 ships. So great deal there. Some of these old um, VHS rewinders do, they do really well. And you can sell them used as well. 
but even better if they're brand new. Here's some um, little 80s gripper grabber hugger clip-ons is the way I describe them like clip on to your like pen or pencil or something. Um, there's all kinds of little animals and different things um, but they were kind of beat up. A lot of them had stains and marks and they were definitely old. Um, they ended up selling for a best offer of 40 shipped. I paid 10 bucks for the whole bucket of them. I thought at first I'd part some out and that'd be the better way to do it. But by the time I was looking at them in the condition, I just felt like it was better to lot them together. I had them listed at 80 bucks. I was really hoping to get a $50 offer, but they had been up for a little while. Someone offered 40 and I said, let's just get rid of them. 40 bucks. We still, they went first class. We still probably made over 20 bucks in the sale, but I was hoping to get a little bit more and you know, maybe I should have parted them out. Could have made a few extra bucks, but at least they're gone. Here is a big, not a big, it's a pretty good size yearbook sale it's a middle school yearbook and it sold for 40.49 this one um i got a bunch of middle school yearbooks i got i don't know what i got 60 of them for 60 bucks or something like that i forgot what i paid but um, i got a bunch of them and a lot of them are middle school there were a couple of college and a few high school um, this is one of the middle school ones that sold for 40.49 which is a great deal for a yearbook especially middle school which usually for me sells a little worse Here's a TaylorMade and R. Oh, sorry for the focus, guys. An R5 um, driver here. This one sold for 25 shipped on a best offer. This one was not the greatest TaylorMade. It is, um, you know, a good brand, but it's an older one, so it doesn't sell so great. It sold for 25 shipped. It cost us like 12 bucks to ship it. I think we had about five bucks in, so really not the greatest deal. But happy to get it out of the inventory. Here's a Doug Herbert Snap-on Diecast Dragster. This one sold for 30.59. Uh, this is from a storage unit guy buy. It ended up costing us about 11 bucks to ship it, so we made some money, but it was brand new in the box. Too easy to, to list and ship and get it out of here. And I figured someone would buy it. It has snap-on plus the dragster aspect. Here's a really cool, this is a realistic kaleidoscope. Um, this thing, like, I guess as music plays and different sound happens, it'll put up different little designs and images on this little machine. Um, I got two of these from Storage Unit Guy. I think I sold one for 140 or 125 or something like that before I had two of them. I only listed one at first just to kind of test the market. Um, then I listed the second one and the first one sold for like I said 125, 140, somewhere in there. It was this one at 179.99 and it sold full price sale and I got good feedback. So I think sometimes DJs use these from what I was researching but they're a little bit hard to come by but a pretty good deal on that. Um, some marine operations in Korea books. These ones sold for $58.49. These were $10 from a garage sale. It's actually missing one of the volumes. I think there's five volumes in total. And these are the 1992 reprints, but $58.49. A Different World is a great DVD set to find if you can find it. I bought one and it was missing uh, disc, disc three or something like that. It had three main discs, plus it had this bonus disc. I sold the bonus disc for $12 by itself, and I sold the two other discs for $14.99 each. Here's a hamburger shop little game. This one doesn't even work. I couldn't get it to work. Um, it's like a little handheld. It's still sold for 20 bucks for parts, which I thought was awesome for a broken handheld there. I had a bunch of those at one point and they've all sold out. A Sega Genesis 2. This is a console here. Not, Sega Genesis doesn't sell really well the systems. This one sold for $76.49 on sale. I had paid 20 bucks for it. We ended up still making some money because I think it cost us like 14 or 15 to ship it. So we did okay. Not a great deal, but as I said, there's certain things I'm a sucker for, and video games are definitely it. I wasn't going to leave that there for 20 bucks. Had to pick it up. Had it in the inventory for a while, but it finally sold on sale. Um, here's a 1986 Cadillac um, shop manual. This one is from the $500 manual buy. Sold for $14.39. Injustice for the 360. Sold for 9 bucks on sale. And it looks like, guys, that is it. We made it to the end. Sorry it's a little bit long. We're at 23 minutes, but I appreciate you guys coming in. Hopefully you got something out of the video. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.